disabilities, spastic quadruplet cerebral palsy, which means that when I was, when I was born, born, I did not get enough oxygen to my brain. However, it does not affect my intelligence or my ability to make decisions. I was involved in a quote unquote slight head on collision. My head hit the back window of um, a pickup. It changed my life. The only reason my elbow didn't shatter is because there's a big extension cord that caught my elbow right here, but it damaged all the nerves, you know, up and down. And uh, violent <laughs> twisting kind of motion again and re-damaged anything that was hurt before, plus ended up with fibromyalgia. I have an affliction that's known as degenerative arthritis which simply stated means it isn't going to get any better, it's just going to get worse in terms of arthritis. I use, I use medical marijuana to help control my spasticity. I can just take a teeny, tiny, tiny bit and, and, and just take the edge off and go to sleep or, or not throw up so severely or other adverse reactions. Uh, all the medications that I've known of and that have been avail available to me, cannabis is the one that causes the least harm. In those years that I've had it, the only real substantial and prolonged relief I've had is by using cannabis. And there is not, and I repeat, there is not a body of scientific evidence that supports these initiatives or the, the medical use of smoked marijuana. Well, sir, what is it? It's an incredibly useful medicine. It, uh, not only is it useful for a variety of, of uh, symptoms and illnesses, but it has very few side effects, and it's been around for, you know, millions of years and used medicinally for thousands of years. After Proposition 215 passed, suddenly there were new options for medical cannabis patients. They could legally cultivate their own medicine or have a caregiver legally cultivate their medicine on their behalf. More importantly, and I think more significantly for most of the patients in the state, the medical cannabis dispensaries began to flourish and to serve the patients. And uh, this made it possible for a patient to go into a safe environment where they felt comfortable, purchase their medication, obtain the services they need, and uh, feel like it was normal. Like it was normal, it was appropriate, it was accepted by the community, and it took them out of the context uh, and the dangers of the illicit drug trade. Our vision of the Berkeley Patients Group was of a uh, community center, uh, a place where people came for their medicine, they came for their community, for their healing, uh, where they came to, to be alive and be well. And uh, not so much a pharmacy as, um, as a family. It's, it seems clear that it's a very legitimate and legal health service that's being provided um, clearly, the city of Berkeley wants that health service to be provided, and the people of Berkeley want it, the government of Berkeley want it, so it's very hard to see that as being illegal. It's a nice atmosphere. When I, when I, when I visited the Berkeley Patients Group, you walk in there and there's you know, music playing, there's people at card tables that are talking, using their medicine in a safe setting. Uh, socializing, there's a library there, uh, there's snacks, healthy snacks and tea there. So it's a good safe place to be to learn about medical marijuana. After we started to see patients, we started to add uh, services 
as we saw a need for them and as the individual patients came to us with needs they had. Everyone I've talked to shares the community. We have community again, something that had been desperately missing in all of our lives. We have services they offer us here for free. Massage, acupuncture, yoga. They offer us hot beverages and they have food out and they care. They just care. We know that it's expensive for our patients to get alternative therapies, yet we know that alternative therapies are saving their lives. And that's not just the therapy, but that's the community that they can get here. The, the, the generosity, the, the love and warmth that I get here is just literally overwhelming. I really feel, and they make me feel, that I'm not alone. There's others out here like me that I don't have to go through this by myself. <laughs>